We've had some high volume Abigail going on this afternoon as well. I'm hoping you can hear me over the yelling because I can barely hear myself think. <laughs> Trying to vlog here. I don't think I told them welcome to the vlog. Welcome to the vlog, by the way. Uh, today's gonna be cool. So I, I was working for a good part of the day doing videos and stuff like that. And, uh, Priscilla was, was, was doing that. She was taking care of Ab uh, this afternoon. So I, I'm gonna give her a little bit of a break. I am cooking dinner this evening. Me, Pots, Pans, and Asa coming at you. Conveniently, coincidentally, uh, this, this video is sponsored by Blue Apron. And our Blue Apron box showed up today. Okay. Do you need me here for like moral support or? Can you just cameraman for me for a minute? Oh boy, okay. into this box? Yep. Oh, oh. let's get cooking. Well, let's. Look at like, what, Look, do we have? Like, what do we have in here, Dad? What are these? These are it's a big old bag. We got instructions. Okay, so the two recipes I got were mozzarella and tomato baked chicken and ancho honey chicken fajitas. That is a brand new Dr. Pepper. What are you doing? This is gonna be interesting to say the least. Okay, so the idea here is that it's gonna be quick and easy, right? Come here, cameraman. Look at this. Hey. I'm a little, I'm a little like Im impressed and surprised here. Why? Look, at, look. Look at Abby. It's like a whole bunch of fresh stuff. Wow. <laughs> here, you want to help? Think, Ab? Look, cucumber or zu zucchini. Oh my okay, gosh. I got this. I got this. I got this. this bags of stuff. This is crazy. Isn't this crazy? It is crazy. You have so many I, things. I really had, I have had no idea that this is what it was going to be like. Here, Ab. It's for you. I'll put that in the sink. <laughs> Chicken. No preservatives. No antibiotics ever. That's, these, these are better ingredients than we buy at the grocery store when we go shopping. Yeah. Okay. That's everything. Oh, the bottom fell out. <laughs> okay. Thank you. That's all I need you for, for cameraman. You okay. can um, just go relax. All I, the I relaxation. Watch. Okay. You, you, you can, you can hang out. You can like, totally hang out. I'm gonna. Um, I'm gonna. I do cooking. So right. You're the cook. You're the cooker. I want to see how this is, but this sense. is what we decided to have tonight, right? Yeah, we're going to do the ancho honey chicken fajitas. That looks awesome. Yeah, look at that. So that's what I have to make it look like. Okay. No pressure. Okay, first, so why does this appeal to us? Uh, because Priscilla has excelled in her cooking skills, and I have declined in my cooking still skills because she's gotten so much better. I don't really cook very often, and when I do, it pretty much has something to do with eggs because I'm good at cooking breakfast, that's about it. So this is appealing because I can actually cook a meal and it'd be a good meal, a fancy meal, instead of eggs. Not that there's anything wrong with eggs, I love me some eggs, but you know. So um, also there is a coupon code for you guys down there for the first 50 people. Uh, you, you click the link and the first 50 get to use the coupon. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? Or coupon. It's a coupon. Okay, so before you get started, I'm gonna let you wear my apron. Okay. Okay? It's special and it makes you cook better. Oh, does it? Yep. Like I can have my own cooking YouTube channel? Um, I don't know if it'll make you cook that good. But it'll help you with your blue apron meal. <laughs> yeah. Talk trash now, you wait and see. Okay. I say I can't cook, but I can I can cut an avocado. He knows, he knows his way around the kitchen a little bit. A little bit, a little bit. There's honeycomb in this. This is this is like like they reached into the underbelly of a honey hive and just and stuck it in here. Come here. 
Are you excited for Dad's cooking, or just for food in general? <coughs> it's spicy. I added all the jalapeno. It's spicy. Okay, that's it. Total cook time is supposed to be 45 minutes. What would you say? Not far off, right? Yeah. Less than an hour. And I'm no pro. So that's not bad. Not bad. Yeah. All right, let's build this thing. Ready? Okay. Ready for the reveal? You guys ready for the reveal? Are you going to help? Come get the stuff. Here. Mm. Can you take those? First, get that first. Here's your napkins. Mm. Put those on the table. Mm. Thank you. Can you take a drink? A full drink? No. She's like, I don't trust myself. <laughs> Here. Can you carry your plate? Got it? Oh my gosh. Spread her hands out. Okay. Good job. Okay. Is it good? Do you like it? <laughs> hold on, hold on, I'll help you. Oh. Just, yeah, get you some of that. Avocado's a little weird just to bait you by itself when you're not used to it. Okay, Abby likes it. Abby likes it. Mom? Really good. Is it really good? Mm -hmm. I wasn't sure, you, you wrote, you're the pickiest of, of us all, I'd say. Yep. I wasn't sure about the ancho because I didn't like the flavor of it by itself, but it's good. It's really good. Okay. I would order this again. Yeah. Okay, slow down. Slow down. Her, mm. Okay, so if you guys are interested in this, like I said, check out the link. We're not gonna we're not gonna promote something or partner with something that we don't think would better your life. I think this would better your life. Each one of these meals is 500, 800 calories per, per person. Um, so that's healthier for us than what we usually eat. We're usually up way over a thousand calories per meal per person. So this would be a healthy alternative. It's certainly as fast, if not faster than most of the meals that we cook here at home. And uh, these, so this meal plan setup that we have is, is you can choose two to four meals uh, for your family and it's designed to feed four. So, and, and the average cost of it is like eight ninety nine. Uh, starts at eight ninety nine per person per serving. So, I do like it. It's good food, easy to do. You should try it out. If you're looking for something, you know, jump on it for those two weeks and try it out and you get that $50, uh, $50 free and try it out because you can cancel at any time. So there's no contract, nothing like that, so. Okay, I was wrong earlier. You were actually our pickiest eater, eater not mom. Mom's particular, but you're the pickiest. Like you went years without eating vegetables and stuff. So, so look, you're not. Ha there is no more, darling. It's, everybody gets one serving. Five hundred calories. You're cut off. That was a lot of food. Though. It was a lot of food. It was plenty. It was plenty of food. Yeah. That way. Mm -hmm. So, what do you think? What's your opinion? I liked it. Good. It was right? Really good. Yeah. Would eat again? Absolutely. Can you believe there's carrots in that thing? No, I didn't even. Taste yeah. them. Like, I'm not a carrot fan, but they were good. Okay, next time, Scylla, I'm cooking the mozzarella and tomato baked chicken. Check that out, guys. Looks good, right? That's what we'll do next time. It won't be a sponsored video, but they send us more than one meal, so that's awesome. I'll show you guys how that one turns out, too. It's happening, so we might as well talk about it, you know, real life and all that. Um, Abigail's got her, her tubes on. We call them the tubes. These keep her from being able to gag herself. Because uh, she's got the gagging stim going on pretty bad. It's o it's only happening after she eats. Uh, so we're going to go back to the doctor just to make sure that this, it isn't medical this time. But we still think it's a sensory issue. Don't you agree, Priscilla? I do. Okay, Priscilla agrees. Just want to make sure we're on the same page. We still think it's a sensory thing. You know, she gets full. She gets a sensation in the back of her throat from eating. And then um, that, that promotes the gagging stim. Uh, then after a little while, she wears them for a little bit after she's eaten, then she's good to go. But all it is is a hoodie, and then she's got, raise your arm up, Ab. Arms up. Arm up. Up high. Raise your arm up. She's got a PVC pipe inside of there. 
um, so she can still move her arm around a little bit so she doesn't hyperextend her elbow, uh, but it keeps her from getting her hand up to her mouth to gag herself. That's, that was my invention. Uh, she carries them to school with her, She, do, you know, because she does it everywhere. So when we go on trips, they go with us. It's a real pain because they're huge and they're heavy. And she'll tell us, like, when she's done, she'll come over and tell us, you know, she wants them off. We take them off and then she's fine. So it's absolutely, like, it's something that her body needs for some reason. I don't think that she wants to do it at all. So we don't do any, uh, there's no punishment for it. Like, we just... We just try to block the behavior to extinguish the behavior and that's it. Gagging after dinner brought to you by Blue Apron. <laughs>